he spoke a little while ago. I would enjoy it so then I can enjoy myself to just explain myself in more language. But it doesn't happen like that. Uh, as in Nakuru, I'm really excited and very happy for us to celebrate this day together today. Mostly, I would just say first thanks to our community leader, Mr. William Pola Jack. Can you stand please? In my experience, why I thank him is not because of this occasion. It is I recognize his tireless work among our community, regardless of who the choice is. When you call Mr. Bola Jack, he's there with you. Yeah. You remember that there was a black guy whose his eye was opened by Jesus. And then you know the Pharisees and those church workers, they try to deny what he has experienced. But one thing he said, I know him, I know Jesus, because he opened my eye. What I know, you guys say he's a sinner, but only one thing I know, he opened my eye. For what he has seen, he recognized what Jesus did to him. Regardless of you are not really agree with what I'm saying, I know him because of what I've seen. Go together, you went up to Nairobi, to visit people, those who have been arrested. Let's give thanks. I give thanks to all owners and I bishop. I give you thanks for coming to attend this. As the pastor, there's nothing you can say without beside the Bible. Nothing you can say beside the Bible. Any country it needs unity, but unity it needs love. Let me tell you, there are three pieces that you need as a human being. There's one, you need peace with God. And that peace with God does not come alone. It comes with recognizing that you are a sinner, and then you have to recognize Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Second dimension is you have to love your neighbor. To love your neighbor is so mean, many things. Because the Bible says that love your neighbor as yourself. If you love somebody else, then you are at peace with God. This is what it say. When I'm saying this, I see Nakuru should be the example of many cities here in Kenya. We are now united in one name as South Sudanese community here in Nakuru. You cannot find that in Nairobi, to be honest with you. You can go somewhere, there's no really unity like our unity here in, in Nakuru. Let's praise and clap our hands to ourselves. But there's one thing I want to tell you, our people of Nakuru, is, is especially young people. I'm always this, Bola Jack, I know everything. Don't look at me as a newer, I'm a teacher, right? Because if you are a community leader, that means that you're involved with anything that has been done in any community. Bible says that wherever you live, please live as an example. I need you to unite, to work together, and that unity will come when we all join on together. As you know, it has said in the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 to 20. But when Paul says that we are ambassadors for Christ, what does it mean to you if you are ambassador? You know the ambassador, now we have somebody called ambassador now, as a certain ambassador. He lives in Nairobi, right? He might not be from your community, but he representing you. The ambassador should not be ambassador in his own country. 
doesn't mean that you have to be called a brother when you are a different country. But when you are a different country, you have to represent your country in the way that it should be. But if you are representing your country in the wrong direction, then the council of ministers, including the president, will call you back because you neglect your job. So now let's say we have ambassador now in Nairobi. I don't know his name, but it's just an example. It's not because he's, he did it. Let him, let his, let's go to the bar and drink. And say five years people say that, I'm a ambassador for South Sudanese. Talk to me, you can talk to me, I'm a ambassador for South Sudanese. Huh? Then he drunk. So you know media always pick up anything. Enemy, anything that is really funny, the media will pick it up. And then let the media pick it up, and then it should be played that evening in South Sudanese news. The ambassador for South Sudanese, he drunk. He fighting people on the road every day. <laughs> you will hear degree number, kide, 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 and then you have to be called back, right? Because he neglect his job. If God call us to be ambassador, that means that we are now so young in this country, in this world. This world is not our country. We have heaven father that is our country. So therefore, we need to be sure what we are doing is go with the Bible. Let us present the people of South Sudan in Nakuru in a good way so then we will reflect our uh, reflection in unity. If we are representing United South Sudan is here in Nakuru, that means that we have to be behave. You Shabab, I told you one thing when you are playing football in the field. I say I come to you to show my support. Though so then you are all united. You are reflecting our unity. Let us unite as people of Nakuru. And if we are united as people of Nakuru, we will be the example of other people to follow us. There's one thing I will end up with. If you have somebody wrong you, you need peace with yourself. Why I say that? Because anything you put in your heart, you have a grow you hold in your heart, that means that it will turn you. That's a story that I will tell you. In the U.S., I come from U.S. in a way, in the U.S., a teacher always have to come up with an idea of them to teach the children. One time, a teacher come and say, he asked all the students in his class, and he said, how many people wrong you? Because children are always honest. Any child would say, I have two people. The other would say, I have three. The other say, we have four. And then the teacher said, tomorrow, bring a tomatoes with you guys. Put it in your backpack with your books. Then they did it to respect what the teacher said. Okay, after they said it, they come with that duck pack with all the tomatoes. But the teacher said, don't remove it. Let it be with you. You know tomatoes is not meant to be in the duck pack. Please, you can, if you are with any old lady, you tell the lady to understand this story. And then for a while, the tomato rotted. Because it's not a place where they can say. It's not a talaja. It's not fresh. They need air. Then they smell that. The, tom the tomatoes burst up. What happened? And then their books were in the backpack. They all get rotted. Then they smell that. And then the backpack become heavy to carry. And then the kid, after three days, they complain to the teacher. Teacher, what you have done to us is heavy to carry. It's heavy to carry. They carry their backpack because they are heavy. And then they smell. They complain to the teacher. But the teacher said, Your heart is like your backpack. 
if you keep wrong things, you keep anything that you, somebody wrong you in your heart, doesn't mean that you become a wrong person. Your language will change, your attitude will change, your behavior will change. Oh, yeah. Doesn't mean that we need to be united, regardless of whatever every person have done to you. But make sure that you need peace for yourself. Peace for yourself is to let it go. Let it go what somebody wrong you. So then you will be free of anything that you keep in your heart. And that is my message to the Nakuru today. Let you unite it, regardless of what you somebody wrong you, anything you carry in your heart, free it. So then you will be free person. You want to be free in Nakuru. Let anything that in your heart go away. May God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.